everybody, and welcome to The Test Kitchen on Healthy Junk Food. This is when the music plays that makes me seem like I'm not really as smart as I am. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, if you didn't see on our epic junk cruise, we went to Chick-fil-A at a college, university. But it didn't matter because they had Polynesian sauce and Chick-fil-A sauce. How long are these good for? Forever. The test kitchen can get a little crazy because we're really trying to figure it out. But we actually stumbled upon two recipes that we think could be pretty okay online. It's from stockpilingmoms.com. She has a bunch of Chick-fil-A recipes on her website, and we happen to come across a Polynesian sauce and a Chick-fil-A sauce. Now, if it isn't perfect, we might make some altercations to it. We've got all the ingredients. Is altercation the right word? We might make some... Changes. Changes. We're gonna start with the Polynesian, because I think it's easiest. What you're gonna need is Catalina dressing, or they call it California French dressing. Apple cider vinegar. And I don't know what else. And honey. Here's a bowl. So we're gonna start with half a cup of French dressing. That is a big pen. I like how you have your tag sticking out there. It looks good. Should I get mine out? What's in French dressing? Okay. It's got vinegar in it. It's got ketchup in it. Ketchup. Why is ketchup in so many dressings? Because ketchup is amazing and people like to hate on ketchup. They're like, why would you put ketchup on steak? Why wouldn't you? <laughs> One and a half teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. So I want you to fill one of these and one of these. We're gonna do this to a tea here. To a teaspoon. Oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> uh, well, Don't overdo that's it. That's to a tea, that's enough then. Okay. And then how much honey? I think um, I gotta take this little We wanna cap do off the three bear. tablespoons of honey. Cause this sauce is really sweet. That's what makes a sweet and sour sauce so sweet. It's the honey and I never really realized that that's the main ingredient. I want to show them something. Mm -hmm. Look at this cute little whisk. Oh God. I love it. <laughs> you made me get that, remember? I know, we we're, were at, at the, the store. store. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Wow, you're really bad at taking these sauce packets <laughs> off. Oh man. I'm sorry. It is really wet in here. <laughs> What do you even have to do with it? <laughs> I don't know. Ew. No, no, <laughs> not gonna happen. They Ooh, they don't the smell the same at all. This is really vinegary. It really is. This is super sweet. This is not the same. It's got like a mustardy thing to it though. You're right though. Remember when you first tried it? Yeah. Kind of tastes like more of like a honey mustard sweetness to it, like a mustard sweetness. What we're gonna do is we're gonna doctor up our own and modify it just a little bit because honestly, Julia, I taste a lot of, of the apple cider vinegar. I say that this is a quarter cup. That's Beautiful. probably about a tablespoon. So we got three ingredients once again, but we took out the apple cider vinegar and we added mustard. Let's see what this tastes like. What? Yeah. Yeah? It's now sweet and not vinegary. We're working with quarter cup of French, about one tablespoon of honey, a half teaspoon of mustard. It's so simple. Let's test out the next one. Chick-fil-A sauce. This is when the music plays that makes me seem like I'm not really as smart as I am. Mm-hmm. We have all of our ingredients right here. One of them is mayonnaise. Everybody no, loves th that. This is horseradish. <laughs> and oh, this isn't sorry. actually part of the recipe. Sorry, this one is mayonnaise. We got this off of Ibotta and actually got like a dollar back for buying this. And this is a new brand mayo. I wonder if it tastes like mayo. Do you want to taste a taste test? No. Ah! So we're going to do half a cup of mayonnaise. But really what we're making right now is a honey mustard sauce. Right, JP? Because Chick-fil-A sauce is honey mustard and barbecue sauce, correct? I mean, so I've heard. I mean, I don't really know. Two teaspoons Two of teaspoons. mustard. If you need help with that, let me know. We're gonna go. <clears throat> We're gonna go. <laughs> let me do this. It's probably got this little thingy. I can do it. Look at your little hands. They're kind of frail. You're frail. That's not a way to get in the sheets with the let lady. Me, let me do this. I feel like I'm in a sheet already wearing this <laughs> stupid ass lab coat. You're the one that told us to wear it. Because we were, were like, you're kitchen. gonna have to we wear it. We have to this. be scientists. I got it. We have to like See, have stuff like pens it. and stuff. All right. Test now kitchen. that that's finally open, we're gonna do one teaspoon of lemon juice. 
Next. Where's that little bear? That's right there. <laughs> How much honey? Two oh, tablespoons. So this is actually doesn't make sense to me already because it's asking for less honey than the Catalina dressing recipe and I feel like honey mustard needs honey. Will you squeeze this? Yeah, I, I just think it's gonna need- I think need, that your wrists are strong. I think it's mine. gonna need more than- <laughs> I think it's gonna need more than two tablespoons though. One. <laughs> Someone that creates recipes online is just messing with the world, laughing when we make this stuff. <laughs> yeah. They like never tested it out. They're like, yeah, it's probably this. See, we actually got honey mustard just in case. So, gotta whisk it good. Maybe I need the whisk. That would probably help when whisking, to whisk with the wicks. Whisk with the wicks. <laughs> I can't really pronounce words today, JP, so I should just leave. It's kind of looking like a honey mustard. It looks like a honey mustard. It really does. It actually looks not bad at all. I'll give them that. Let's try it. One taste for the hell of it. Wow. That's honey mustard. That's really good. Okay. That tastes almost like Chick-fil-A sauce already. How much of this sweet barbecue do we got to put in? We're only going to add one tablespoon. It's starting to get the same color too. Holy. All right, ready? Ow! You poke yourself in the face with a toothpick? Yeah. I like stand my mouth. Are there any professionals that like wanna like run a YouTube cooking show with me? Hey, stop. I don't know how I did that. What do you think? I'm thinking the only difference would be your choice of barbecue sauce. And if you go a smokier route, I think it will taste more like a Chick-fil-A sauce and that is gonna be the defining factor here. For you guys, we're gonna do one more. And that's just to use Ken's honey mustard. So let's just do a half a cup of Ken's and then one tablespoon barbecue. of barbecue. Less ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. All right, this is already looking like Chick-fil-A sauce. I just can't wait to eat chicken. Mmm, chicken. We basically made two Chick-fil-A sauces. All of that's gonna be in the description below. We're gonna make Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. Just so that we can blind taste test this. And rolling, rolling chicken, chicken nugget, nugget footage. footage. Guys, we're back so we can see if we can tell the difference between Chick-fil-A, the website version, and our recipe. These chicken nuggets look fantastic, by the way. I'm just they're, excited to taste those. I hope they're cooked all the way. We're going Polynesian first, okay, Jules? I'm really hungry. Okay. Ready? Uh -huh. Take a bite. Nope, not the whole th My hand's in there. I was going to give you a piece. I wanted a chicken. Okay, here, have the rest of it. You, uh -huh. you pretty much ate it, so... Do you guys know? I just want to tell YouTube something really quick, JP. You go I don't know that. anything about Polynesian. First time I ever tried it was at Chick-fil-A during the cruise. Uh, did you disappear? Are you coming back? That one is Mom's from the website. I'll just have a bite, I promise. I won't eat the whole thing. Well, this one's kind of small. How's the chicken, by the way? Is it cooked all the way? I can't see it. <laughs> This one is Chick-fil-A sauce. <clears throat> Polynesian. Just give me a small piece of chicken. Here, just take a bite. There you go. I don't know. I'm gonna call this one ours, <clears throat> but I might have mixed them. This is fun, because I get to choose your fate almost. Okay, hurry up and choose it. All right, ready? Do I die or not? Okay. That's really yummy. I'm talking about the chicken. I'm sure you are. Oh my god, I'm, I'm starving too. This chicken's so I good. I want to mm. eat! Mm. That one's Chick-fil-A. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to tell them apart. That's why I just called it Chick-fil-A because I figure they all taste like Chick-fil-A sauce. This one's ours. We got one more. Open! My problem is I'm getting so much chicken I'm not getting enough of the sauce. That one's mom's. You didn't do as good this time. They all taste the same. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, just, I'm just like, well, I already said that. Cross enough. 
think I can. I think I, I want to be so good at this, even though I know I'm, I'm not. I'm going to give you a lot of sauce. That way you can really taste it. Honestly, I have no clue. It's really good, though. I'm probably going to go with Chick-fil-A. <laughs> We're doing Polynesian, right? Polynesian. The fact that I can't tell that it's honey mustard Polynesian, I've already, I'm already off to a bad start. Yeah, that's pretty bad. All right. I was going to say it's like homemade, the, the website. I think that might be the website. It's got, no, 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 no. That's got a, like a mustardy taste to it. That might be Chick-fil-A. I'm going to go with Chick-fil-A in the second one. I'm confirming it. Second one's Chick-fil-A. Okay? Bite into this. So the first one totally was ours. The second one's Chick-fil-A. The last one was um, website. You messed it up. It's Wait, really so hard. I didn't get a single one right. Well, you got the Chick-fil-A right once you changed your answer. All right. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my it, god. It, it is really hard to do these things. Sometimes people just don't have the palate for it. Are you ready for the next round? Yes. Chick-fil-A sauce, which is a honey mustard barbecue. This one's much harder, honestly. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You have to guess. Um, I'm going to go with um, the website on that one. I wish I could be more like Julia. Why, by being correct? <laughs> and assertive? I'm going to say it's ours. And the last one. Are you ready? I just want to eat more chicken nuggets, dude. This is like probably the best blind taste I've ever done. And the last one. You've done blind taste test chicken nuggets before, remember? Check out that video here. Whatever this one is, I don't really like it. Maybe this is a website. Take your blindfold off. You were wrong on all three. Was I really? The last one was Chick-fil-A sauce. I didn't like the last one. You like the ones we made better. Which, yeah. Well, based on taste, I mean, if you guys like Chick-fil-A sauce, you can make something that maybe even tastes I'm even better so on your chicken at home. I'm so bad at this. You are bad at this. The first one I gave you was ours. You said mom's, mm -hmm. the website. Then I give you the website, then I give you this Chick-fil-A sauce. And you said them all incorrectly. So I think I like the website the best on this one then, right? I guess so. I, I, I did. Truth be told, the website tasted the best. I left the scene a little bit when you were blindfolded, and I thought you were going to freak out and get scared just like I did when you left, but you actually didn't even notice. I did notice. I could hear you leave. You're like... Oh. <laughs> but you didn't respond at all. I really thought I didn't that care. you... <laughs> I wanted you to react. That was my reason. Oh, for okay. And you didn't. So I just came back. <laughs> well, the fine brothers better love me because I don't react. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for coming along. I love doing these test kitchen segments. It's so much fun. This is when the music plays that makes me seem like I'm not really as smart as I am. Mm hmm. We'd love to see you guys join us for more Test Kitchen segments. Comment below with other things that you want us to try to create. And don't watch Zoolander 2. Yes, you should watch Zoolander 2. It's a really funny movie. Oh. How can you have true love when you killed the one person that you love <laughs> with a giant bookcase? I love Owen Wilson. Mm, give me that crooked nose. Yeah, all right, all right. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, well, we are done here, guys. Thank Don't you so much. Don't forget to subscribe for more and check out these other Test Kitchen videos that we've done pretty recently. I think they're both chicken wing related. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your little See fingers. you next time on Healthy Junk Food. All right, good. Now I'm going to eat more of that chicken. Yeah, let's eat. You should have seen what I did while you were, while you were blindfolded. What were you doing? Look at the camera. <laughs> That's what you're doing. <laughs> it's funny enough. I had no idea what you were doing. All right, let me try this though again. So this is my favorite sauce, apparently. I can't believe it. The homemade, or the website. Mm -hmm. It's damn good. I like chicken, so. It's damn good sauce. I'm glad it's cooked all the way through. Mm -hmm. It's a bonus. Nothing like not getting E. coli or any other type of disease.